Hi friends, we're going to be doing um, today on Monday is the special plural nouns. So go ahead and write that special plural nouns and don't forget to draw your line down your page. You can use a ruler and write special plural nouns. Now remember you can um, pause the video if I write too fast or if I go too fast, okay? And these notes are going to help you if you take really good notes, they're going to help you for your test for first quarter, okay? So here we go. Make sure you write well so that you can actually read your handwriting. Okay, here we go. What are special plural nouns? Okay, let's write this. Sometimes the spelling changes in a special way. So we're going to write, sometimes the spelling changes in a special way. Go ahead and highlight the word spelling changes because that's key. Okay, again, pause the video if I go too fast. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna make a box. We're gonna put singular, which means one, and plural means many. So singular means one, and I'm just gonna write the word one. That's what singular means. Single is in here, single and plural means many, okay? Singular is one and plural is many. Okay, let's take our first one then. Okay. So if we have one man, well, how many is many? Is it many man? It doesn't sound right. Three men. So the spelling changes. See, the spelling changes to M-E-N. Man is M-A-N. Okay, here we go. A woman is singular or one. Well, do we say um, ten women? No, that doesn't sound right. We have to change the spelling. We're gonna change it to five women. Women, see how the, it changed? Same as men, it changed, okay? All right, the next one. One child. So do we say 10 child? No, that doesn't sound right. We have to change the spelling. We're going to say many children. We had to add the R-E-N means many children. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. A mouse is not in my house. <laughs> A mouse. So how do we say many? Do we say many mouse? No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't sound right. If I said a few mice, Yep, that makes sense. And so we change the spelling, mice and mouse. Okay, the tooth fell out, the tooth. Do we say the tooths? No, we don't, that doesn't sound right. We say several teeth. So then you see how it changed the spelling. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and write these down. Oh, we have one more. One foot. Do we say many foots? No, that doesn't sound right. Two feet. We change the spelling to EE. -E. Okay, go ahead and pause it and go ahead and write these words. All right. Okay, now we're going to do page 73. We're going to do page 73 numbers 7 through 12 make sure you put today's date this is monday september 28th and 
at page 43. Make sure you write that in numbers 7 through 12. Okay, before we do that, though, let's try some of these on our own. Okay, so on page 72, child is children. Most of these we've just done. We wrote these. Okay, let's continue on. Um, let's try the first one of these together. Okay, it says, write each sentence correctly. Use the plural of the noun in the parentheses. Okay, so they're going to give us a word and we're supposed to write the plural. <clears throat> now, you do not have to write the whole sentence. <clears throat> I only want you to write the plural noun. Okay, so for example, the bus passed some goose. Now that doesn't make any sense. So what would it be? It would change to geese. Okay, I only want you to write the word geese. Okay. Now, I'm going to write in my book because I'm the teacher. I do not want you to write in your book. I'm trying to show you. I only want you to write the word geese. Okay, so let's do the first one together, number seven. The blank waited for the bus. Now, let's put this word child in here. The child waited for the bus. Okay, now that does sound right. Okay, but in the directions, it's asking us to use the plural of the noun. They want us to change it. So we're going to say, the children waited for the bus. Okay, so on my paper, I'm going to write children for number seven. Okay, all right, you go ahead and do eight through twelve. Make sure you post a picture so I can read it. Okay, if you can't see it, I can't see it. All right, friends, kiss your brain.